was an ordination service and because Moses was sincere and directed by God and Joshua was sincere when he got on his knees and he was indeed ordained to take the place of Moses we read and he was filled with the Spirit right now all the way through the New Testament including Paul talking to Timothy yeah. saying you've got to stir up the gifts that were given you at your ordination yeah so laying on of hands became symbolic for your entrance into full-time ministry so I was pleased that when I was ordained uh, various pastors put their hands on me on my head and uh, asked that God would anoint me once again 1-800-41-TRUTH let's go to Carson California Joe you need to hit it quickly What's your question, Joe? Yeah, Dr. Bob, uh, I was raised Catholic, and uh, I can remember the feeling that I had, or the feeling or the experience that I had of forgiveness. Um, a lot is said about the Muslims now, and it seems to be their system of works. Uh, what is their experience um, when they uh, convert to uh, Christianity or experience uh, God's Christ? Well, there are actually books entitled uh, Why We Left Islam, How We Left Islam, We Left Islam, uh, the story of people who uh, were Muslim and they became Christians. You must understand, in Islam, there is no Savior, no atonement, no forgiveness, no assurance of heaven, uh, and Allah is capricious and arbitrary. And Muhammad said, I don't even know what is going to happen to me on the Day of Judgment. So when a Muslim comes to faith in Jesus Christ, he has assurance of salvation, forgiveness of sin. He knows that Christ has done it all. He can rest in the works which Jesus did. It is the most liberating thing. But at the same time, Joe, they have great fear. For according to Islam, the punishment for apostasy is death. In Europe, they have death squads roaming around Europe, killing those who convert out of Islam. They're here in the United States, but they're inactive at the time. Well, we've covered quite a bit about Islam.